World War and World Warriors, I want to talk about Kamala Khan, aka Miss Marvel, and the possibilities of her appearing in the MCU. I want to talk about five actresses that I would choose for her. Now, more importantly is that Kamala Khan, she looks up to Carol Danvers, you know, that's her idol, which is why she adopts the mantle of Miss Marvel. And we're actually going to get a Captain Marvel film to rival DC's Wonder Woman, so we've got a potential idol for Kamala Khan in future. Once the Captain Marvel film comes out, that's when I guess Marvel can start working on Kamala Khan. And with Kamala Khan, they could use her as, I guess, the breakout character or the, I guess, signature character for the Young Avengers. Because the Young Avengers have been reintroduced into the comics, and I guess they could be the perfect rival for DC's Teen Titans slash Young Justice Squad. So I guess it would work to have Kamala Khan be, I guess, the reason they introduced the Young Avengers. Kamala Khan has four important parts of identity. She is a teenager. She went under the pterogenesis at age 15, activating her inhuman genes. So she activated her inhuman genes at the age of 15. And I think if we look at the actress who played Spider-Man, we could get a good age range for an actress to play Kamala Khan. So if we look at Tobey Maguire, he was casted for the role of Spider-Man around the age of 27, 28. And he left the role somewhere in his 30s, I think he was about 30, 32 years old. We also had Andrew Garfield who played the role of Spider-Man. He was about 27 when he was casted, but he left the role when he was, I think, 30 years old. So yeah, again, you know, this is late 20s and edging 30s for those two. Tom Holland, on the other hand, who will be playing him in Civil War, is 19 years old when he got casted, making him technically the only teenager to play Spider-Man. So we've got an age range of 19 to 30, but realistically we could probably extend it to about, you know, 14, 13-ish for, a, you know, a young character like Kamala Khan. If we look at the Gotham teenagers for, you know, Bruce Wayne and Selena Kyle, you know, the actor and actress for those two are actually about 15 years old when they were casted, so we could probably do the same with Kamala Khan. Um, an important part of Kamala Khan's, you know, identity is that she's Pakistani she's of South Asian origin, so I think it's important not to just throw in any brown actress for the role, they should get a South Asian for the role, considering that Kamala Khan is of South Asian Islamic background, I guess it, we can be lenient enough to include Iranian for this, because the UN would consider Iran as part of South Asia, and plus Iran's Muslim culture has had some strong influence to South Asian Muslim culture. People of Afghan, Bangladeshi and Pakistani backgrounds who are predominantly Muslim will have aspects of Iranian Muslim culture in their culture, so I guess it can work for this role. Kamala Khan is also American and I think it's important that they should get an actress that understands what it's like to be a South Asian living in I guess a white dominated English speaking country like America, Canada, uh, United Kingdom, Australia, New Zealand, you know, any of those countries. And they also need to have a good understanding what it's like to be a Muslim in, you know, a world like an English speaking white dominated world. So I kind of think these are important parts of Kamal Khan's identity. So moving on. When it comes to choosing actresses for Kamal Khan, I started off with Sama Bishul. Sama Bishul played Azula in. Avatar The Last Airbender, but that was kind of a cameo role, she's been famous for plenty of other roles, but she has been one of the main candidates for Kamala Khan, and I guess she worked, you know, she is half Indian, half Mexican, so she is of South Asian descent, and she certainly looks it, but she was raised in America. She did live in Saudi Arabia and Bahrain while she was younger with her father. Her father was probably an Indian Muslim, as he lived in West Asia before Summer and her father moved to America. Summer's father lived in Saudi Arabia, in Bahrain and other parts of West Asia with Summer living with him while she was young. They moved to the States when she was a teenager, I believe. While she was living in the States, she did face a bit of prejudice, a bit of Islamophobia. People alienated her, they kind of like wanted to stay away from her because, you know, they were under the impression that she was, you know, a bad person because of her background, you know, living in the Middle East, she was Asian and her father was probably Muslim. I don't know if Sama Bishul was Muslim, but she will certainly understand what it feels like to be Kamala Khan. The only issue I've had with Sama Bishul is that she's about 28 years old, I think, so she's a bit old for the role, realistically, because if she does get casted, she'd probably get casted when she's just aging 30, so there's a bit of an issue there. 
Another choice I had for Kamala Khan was Afshan Azar. Many of you Harry Potter fans would remember her as Padma Patil in uh, the Harry Potter franchise. And even though Padma Patil is clearly an Indian Hindu, Afshan Azar is actually a British Bangladeshi Muslim. So yeah, she's a Muslim, she's of South Asia descent, so that matches. Being from the United Kingdom isn't exactly the same as being from the United States, but considering Charlie Cox plays Daredevil, Benedict Cumberbatch plays Doctor Strange, I guess it can work to have a British actress playing an American character. Plus, she does know what it's like to have, I guess, a, a strict Islamic upbringing, considering her father and her brother were quite harsh on her about her boyfriend. Um, the only issue with Afshan Azad is that she's kind of given up acting. She has gone into modelling and she's gotten a lot of Twitter followers due to her modelling background, but she's kind of stopped acting and she's also a bit old for the role, being about 27 years old, I believe. So yeah, again, much like Summer Bishul, she would probably be about 30 by the time they start casting Kamal Khan. Afshan Azad would be a bit too old. Another potential actress that popped up recently was Sayed Khan. Sayed Khan is a... British Pakistani actress, she's also Muslim, and she's known for Coronation Street, where she plays Alia Kadir. Alia Kadir has a couple of issues where she, you know, has a mix of embracing Western culture but at the same time trying to be trying to stick to her traditional Islamic background. So we've got someone that's Pakistani, we've got someone that's Muslim, and while she's not American, she is British. She is from, you know, a Western country. She has played a character that is a South Asian Muslim living in an English speaking country so you know we've kind of got a pretty good hold in the background. Yeah again Sayed Khan is about 25 years old so she is a bit old for the role but she's kind of as close as we've gotten when you compare her to the last two. My second choice was Sophia Taylor Ali. Now with Sophia Taylor Ali she's relatively unknown. I don't really know much about her. I'm positive that she's American, she was in a Barney episode, she was credited as Indian Girl one time, so I would assume that judging by her name and judging by how she was credited, she's probably of Asian descent. Also, if you look at her name and her siblings name, they have very Persianate sounding names, which is very likely they came from either an Iranian or a South Asian Muslim background. But I'm not sure Sophia Taylor Ali is even full Asian, she might be half, I would guess she's about half Pakistani and she could even be Muslim or raised Muslim. What's more important is that she's 20 years old, so this is as young as I've managed to find for Kamal Khan, and I thought she would be perfect. The only issue is I don't know much about the actress, haven't seen much of her work, so there's a bit of an issue there. But I think that she should be definitely on the top of the list for candidates due to her age, and because she definitely seems to be of Asian background. My first choice actually wasn't really my first choice because I didn't know much about her, but I recently started watching Wolf Blood, and there was a character called Selena Khan. Selena Khan is played by Ruku Nahar. Ruku Nahar is a British Asian actress. I don't really know if she's of Pakistani or Bangladeshi origin. It's very likely she could be either, but she's definitely a Muslim. Her name Ruku Nahar is as Arabic as they get. You know, Ruku being the bow that Muslims do when they pray, and Nahar I believe means morning or sun. It's a, it's a synonym for morning or sunrise or dawn in Arabic. So, you know, she's got a very Arabic sounding name. And most Muslims from the UK are of either Pakistani or Bangladeshi background. I first saw Ruki Nahar appear in the Corner Shop show where her character Mina is a sort of chavvy schoolgirl that keeps harassing Malik Begum and Tony Chang, the main characters of the Corner Shop show. Then she moved on to Wolfblood where she played Selena Khan. And what's interesting is that Selena Khan has similarities with Kamala Khan in some ways. The two of them hide a secret from everyone else. In the case of Selena, she's a wolf blood. You know, she, she can turn into a wolf, so it's like a werewolf-like creature for any of you who are not aware. Whilst Kamala Khan is an inhuman, and she's a secret superhero. Selena Khan becomes a vigilante in one of the episodes where she's dubbed as the she-wolf and she uses her wolf blood abilities to help people. Doesn't last very long but, you know, there's a bit of superhero there I guess. Selena Khan has a friend called TJ Cipriani and their relationship is somewhat similar to that of Kamal Khan and her friend Bruno. In fact, Bruno was the one who finds out she is Miss Marvel. TJ films Selena Khan when she first takes up the she-wolf mantle, I guess. Yes, he was filming her on his phone, so he kind of knew about it and helped her out with it. 
So there are parallels there. Also, Selida and Kamala both had a secret from their parents. In Selida's case, she was practicing Taekwondo secretly and it was stressing her out until she told her parents and they were quite okay with it, they in fact encouraged her. In the case of Kamala Khan, her secret is that she is Miss Marvel, she's an inhuman. But it turns out her mother actually knew all along and didn't mind. In fact, her mother embraced her for it and was actually quite happy with what her daughter was doing. So I feel that Selena Khan's actress, Ruka Nahar, is the perfect actress to play Kamala Khan. You know, both of them are teenagers. Ruka Nahar, last I checked, is about 19 years old. And, you know, Kamala Khan is 50. So it matches how Tom Holland plays Spider Man, Ruka Nahar for Kamala Khan. I think it works. You know, Ruka Hanahan is British Asian, so she knows what it's like to be a South Asian living in a non-Asian country or uh, I guess a loose English speaking, you know, white country where people are much more chilled out and have much more diverse opinions and that's very much Kamala Khan living in USA and Ruka Nahar is, you know, a Muslim and she plays Muslim character so I think it definitely will work. So, what do you guys think? Do you guys think any of the actresses I suggested should play Kamal Khan or do you have a better suggestion? If you do, please like, share and subscribe. If you don't like this video, there's a dislike button and please comment on who you think could play Kamal Khan in future. And with that, goodbye.